I will now read the summary of the fourth novel, because Freedom Rider A Good Grace Work will be published at the end of 2024, beginning of 2025. This is the fourth novel, and I would like to read now. The summary. Heart, humor, action and excitement. Freedom Rider for Chariot of Titan joins, like almost all volumes of Freedom Rider, beautiful cars, including classic old-timers, with a nostalgic 80s feel and modern technology, while being set in the present day of the 21st century. Freedom Rider was inspired above all by the fascinating and abundant material of artificial intelligence, which is also being used more and more in everyday life today but also by the 80s cult series Knight Rider. With everything that made the series cool and at which an artificial intelligence in the form of a car also appeared. Also at Freedom Rider is a modified but newly built 1982 Trans Am, which among other things has a noble artificial intelligence, a bite aloof without science fiction, together with a humorous team, takes center stage. But Freedom Rider is, as always, much more. The fourth volume of this exciting and challenging book series with hard humor action, great car stunts, scientific facets, tongue-in-cheek, heartwarming, sometimes a bit biting dialogues, and a whole range of narrative skills, once again comes up with a breathtaking story. The eccentric millionaire Don Van Shireland succeeds in building the plasma blade Titan and equipped it, among other things, with kicks the transam, modern but in the wrong hands also dangerous technology. Titan will challenge Logan and Kick in a murderous duel. In addition, the millionaire Shyalan is being creeped out by the shady stranger TC, who is obviously pursing his own plans. Furthermore, Logan has to deal with a substance called hydrogen. The South Seas, a school, a mysterious and ancient brotherhood, a secret society and his personal nemesis, when a duel begins not only between Titan and Kick. Conclusion. As always, Carefree Knight again explodes all the nuances of her extraordinary linguistic talent, her plastic storytelling to create an entertaining, exciting tale that stretches the boundaries of the old fashion, that is intelligent, exciting and different from old-fashioned literature. In addition, there is a touch of not quite serious irony and the scientific aspects are embedded on the story with a wink of the eye in a relaxed, light-hearted way. So, now I will read the beginning, the intro for you. The intro of the book, which is very much inspired by the Knight Rider intro, maybe you all know. So, here, here is the intro. I hope you can imagine the sequence. Sunrise. Freedom Rider. An adventurous ride into the powerful life of a man who has disappeared. Logan Grace. A restless wanderer on a journey to help the less fortune, the weak ones, the powerless, in a reality of Williams who act above equity. Now I would like to explain a few things about the outside of the car. I would like to explain this with this model of kit. You can see kit is a convertible here, here and here. He has a license plate. He has of course a license plate with California Knight. Kick has a license plate with Florida Grace. This is Kick's license plate in white and black. And Kick's license plate is yellow and blue. I think you all know that. <laughs> and uh, Kick is, of course, medium to dark red. And he has something like the scanner too here in front of this. But the scanner is a different rhythm. He does this rhythm. Kick a kid's rhythm is this, and it's of course red. He also has light gray scenes, and basically the same shape kit has. And I think you can imagine the car. So
So next I would like to explain the dashboard to you. And uh, for example, you can see in the main screen here with um, which uh, Logan Grace can communicate with Alexander Murphy, who is inspired by Devon Miles. And you can see the unshaped steering wheel here. You also have something called the Cardford symbol. The Cardford symbol is inspired by the Vox box of kit. Um, you have here the ignition sequence. And this is the center console. And a few other things. You have here the switch bot. And here, here you can see it better. Uh, here's the switch bot of a behind kicks steering wheel with different functions with metal buttons. Here you have the identifier of kick, who is basically inspired by Kit's analyzer. He has a mini 3D printer too. And this is uh, the center console of kick. You can see here different functions. He also have switch toggles and um, yes, a second monitor, CD, um, USB, and all the normal functions of a car, of course, too. And on the next graphic, you can see here the overhead console of Kick. That is round here, has different buttons. You have a few from below, of course. And here he has also a glove compartment. A glove compartment.